Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Fussy. Roll call, please. Um, Mayor Papadis. Here. Mrs. Passio. Here. Mr. Ranieri. Here. Mr. Lavenstein. Here. Mr. Root. Here. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Mr. Long. Here. Here. Mr. Zayshore. Here. And Mr. Diori. Here. Uh, Mr. Root just said that he's stuck in traffic, so he's going to be later. Public notice of the meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner. One posted on the bulletin board at the borough clerk's office on January 3rd, 2008, and two emailed to the retrospective curry post on January 3rd, 2008. First thing we have is, uh, I do the, how about we talk about this little thing first so I don't forget. Um, the uh, freeholder director, they did <laughs> Freeholder director would like to come down because the funding for the addition, the ADA uh, compliancy, the parking lot, the elevator, the uh, second floor uh, improvements were all funded through the freeholder board. Uh, most of the money coming from community property. He wants to come down and do a ribbon cut. So, uh, Joyce, do you want to give the three dates to everybody and maybe we can make a decision as a group and then we'll make a public announcement at this point? Okay. Tuesday, October, October 23rd at 11. Monday, October 29th at 11 a.m. or 1 p.m. and Tuesday, October 30th at 11 a.m. Monday's always good for me. But first one's good. Who was that one? Tuesday. Tuesday. Is that the first October 23rd, Tuesday? Yeah. Well, the only thing I was going to say is I, 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 Monday was looking good for me too. Is, is that okay with you, John? Monday. The 29th? Is that okay for you? Yeah. The 29th? What then time? At the, we could do the 11, I guess, right? Or the 1? 11 a.m. 11 is good. 11 is better? Yeah, because that probably be decorated. Right, let's respond and let's give it as uh, the 29th. 29th at 11 is the ribbon cutting. Okay. What's the day? Monday. Monday. 29th. 11? Yeah. 11 a.m. Putting it in on the floor. That's everybody putting it in. Will there be refreshments or not? Yes, Ms. Passio is in charge of that. She's going to work with Mr. Dior, Mr. Dioria to pay for it. At least $2,500, right? There's only going to be like 10 people, so. The engineer will be there, correct? Some Doritos. <laughs> Doritos. Cool Ridge. Sometimes Pepsi products. So. October 29, 11 a.m. Yeah, so we're going to respond and, and do that. And uh, obviously, you know, the idea is that. Uh, this is pretty much the completion of this building now at this point. We're completely ADA compliant. Everything's pretty much done. You know, we're still collecting our monies for things, but we're in good shape. Sometimes with side items, but at this point, like I said, the only thing we really left to do is we've awarded the painting. We're gonna do some sign work. I think we're gonna continue to do some landscape work. And then upstairs, really then the logistics start. You know, I don't think anybody went upstairs. Mr. Lobstein and I went upstairs this, this afternoon. And uh, Public Works, along with the uh, this uh, Christmas, right? They're up there cleaning up all the boxes, getting them all ready to go so we can have our conference room back. All the boxes will be put all the way. And then the big question is how we're going to, you know, divvy up the space in the future. I have a couple ideas, but we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see and how everything plays out. I want the big table. You want the big table? <laughs> okay, so we'll move on. So we're good. Approval of minutes. A motion is ordered for the approval of the minutes of the August 28th and November, or excuse me, September 4th meeting submitted by the clerk as each member has received copies of the same. So I make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? No. Okay, the minutes are adopted. Reports. <coughs> we have, of course, I forgot to print out my tax collector's reports. Oh. Uh, we have the report of the construction office. Actually, she just sends me, uh, she just calls me and tells me how much, uh, $13,840 was collected in, uh, for permits and COs. How uh, well, money's returned over to the treasurer. We have the report of the borough clerk from the month of uh, September, a total of $830.40 was collected for uh, licenses and permits. All monies were turned over to the treasurer. The report of the registrar for the month of uh, September, a 
total of $2,160 was collected in for death copies, marriage copies, and marriage licenses. All monies which are given to the treasurer. We have the report, the treasurer's report for July and August. Uh, current fund revenue as of July was $1,669,408.93. And uh, for August, four million four hundred thousand nine hundred sixty-four dollars and fourteen cents. Um, the uh, municipal court total collected for the month of August seventeen thousand four hundred ninety-five dollars and sixty-five cents. All monies were turned over to the treasurer. We have the report of the fire marshal for the month of September. A total of two thousand six hundred and seventy dollars was collected in fire fees. There were seventy total inspections. There were 136 EMS incidents, 50 fire incidents, one type one permit issue, and EMS fees, uh, the emergency medical services fees collected were $20,952.12. All monies were turned over to the treasurer. And that's all that I have because I forgot to pick out my tax collector report. Okay. That's because I bothered you. Is there a motion to approve the reports as read? I'll make a motion. I'll second. second. Motion by Mr. Lobbenstein, second by Mr. Rainier. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the awards. Communications. Uh, Mayor Count, thank you. A note from Ms. Custer. Uh, so, uh, Chief Kessler passed away. We did send flowers, as we always do, uh, to Mayor Council. Did we able to go? Yeah. Uh, thank you, and so much for the grateful flowers. I mean, Kessler and Pound. Is there a motion to accept the, uh, the note? I'll make a motion to accept the communication. I'll second that. Motion by Ms. Passio, second by Mr. Lamenstein. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Committee reports. Mr. Rainier. Thank you, Mayor. Council, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. All right. Good evening, John. Good evening, John. John Boyd. Good evening. In finance, we've made, we have made all departments aware of our spending freeze. Uh, if, it's, if it's not in our budget, don't buy it. As we've discussed before, each of our departments will be more responsible to keep their spending in line with their budget. Always easier to do on paper than in, than in the real world. However, Jim, our CFO, is moving forward with our departments and making progress uh, all the time. Um, as we uh, acquire new debt, uh, generally short-term loans, otherwise known as bond anticipation notes, for capital improvements, uh, uh, purchases on equipment, we are also paying down our old debt. We are in the process of consolidating some of our 2015 and 2016 bands on the anticipation notes, and we are rolling them into municipal bonds. Slightly higher rates, however, as a municipal bond, um, being a municipal bond, we, we will be paying down the principal, keeping our debt to asset ratio in line as it should be. Uh, also, our police contract negotiations are underway, and I believe we are making good progress, and the rest is progress. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Public uh, safety, help. Thank you, Mayor. The month for September 2018, the police had 692 calls for service. 234 traffic summonses were issued. There were 29 motor vehicle crashes. That's a little bit higher than normal. We had 124 arrests, and we had 57 hours of overtime, and I'll have to talk with the chief on that one. And DWI patrol was nothing. By patrol, we didn't have any hours on that. And Narcan deployment was one. One Narcan deployment. And that's for the police. Fire department, number one, on October 11th, fire prevention night from seven to nine. Everybody should go and visit the firehouse and check it out. It's a lot of information provided and I understand the, cool, the schools are going, uh, parents should go with their children. It's, it's a wonderful evening. And that's at the firehouse from seven to nine, October 11th. October 21st is Fall Festival at the Firehouse. That is an amazing, wonderful day. It's all day, from 10, come early, stay late. 
It's going to be uh, food vendors, uh, all kinds of games and fun things to do for the family. And that's all day, October 21st. Okay, so. The fire department, department responded to major incidents during the month of September. The Quint 75 responded to Belmar for a dwelling <coughs> fire. It was in service with its ladder to ventilate the roof and use its waterway to extinguish the fire. The Quint and the squad both continued to respond to mutual aid in Gloucester Township, Belmar, and surrounding communities. Our EMS staff responded to 136 incidents this month. The fire department responded to 50 fire calls. A total response of 186 calls, which averages out to six calls a day. And we are on call 24 seven, and it's an amazing uh, operation that goes on at that firehouse. Those men are so busy all the time. Total collected to the year for EMS and fire, $275,746.90. And that is my report. There were two Narcan deployments brought by the fire and EMS. And that's my report. Very good. Thank you. I just want to remind everybody again, uh, one thing we need to be proud of is uh, when we first all got on council, everyone remembers, we did not have 24-hour uh, EMS service. There was a gap between, what was the time? It was between four, four, to four to six. Four so to imagine six. one of the busiest times of the day there wasn't uh, EMS service. So I think that's a, yeah. a very positive thing. And uh, mutual aid to our neighbors is great. Maybe in the Trump fashion, we can send them bills for, for helping them out. No. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> okay, public events. Miss Passio. Okay, Saturday. Still in this? <laughs> okay, Saturday, we had our yard sale, town-wide yard sale. We had beautiful weather, so I hope that everyone uh, did well on uh, Saturday. Um, did you guys do anything? I ran the race, my K How race. How did you make it out? Uh, I, made, I, was, I finished 14th. Oh, okay. I just beat the... 47th. How many did the 5K? 47. How many did the 5K? Well... Uh, adults, I think adults was around 80, but then there were children, the kids from the teams. I think it was about probably about 140, it looked like. But a lot of the, young, the kids don't count. They run too fast, and it's, it's not fair. No problems, no issues. No problems, I want to say public works. I don't mean to jump up, but public works did a great job. They, the, the cones were out. Police department did a great job. Um, because it does, it goes down Evesham Road, down, down uh, uh, Davis. Harper, Davis. I mean, it's all over. Did you give out water, Ellen? And it's the same day as the yard sale, so there is a lot of uh, activity going on in town. So it's a positive thing. And uh, the mile, just in case anybody knew, you know, Ms. Kelly brought up the mile earlier. They gave out for everybody who ran a race, they gave everybody a free drink uh, coupon for the day. Yeah. Mr. Jory and I didn't get a chance to run over there, so uh -huh. we'll have to. But uh, no, it was, good. it was a good day. And then the high, the high school had a uh, car wash afterwards. I don't know if you're aware of that. Oh, okay. That was but no, it was a good day. Great. Great. Okay, so also, everybody mark your calendars out there on Saturday, October 27th. I do believe that's the 27th. Uh, we, the front of me, will be having a cleanup from 9 to 12, rain or shine, and we will all meet at the girls' softball field at the building there. Um, donuts will be, do you have something to do? My brother's engagement party. Oh, well, you don't have to go. Okay, so donuts. It isn't nine to twelve. So <laughs> his, wife, his girlfriend, his wife could be one mine. So anyway, so it'll be donuts in the morning and then pizza. So uh, come on out and uh, and we do have some uh, t-shirts. So we'll give, give out some t-shirts. Nine, yeah, nine to twelve. Nine to twelve. Yeah, and I don't care if you have to show up. It doesn't matter. At some point. All right, and also let's not forget. Then on Wednesday, October 31st, we are having our Halloween, our annual Halloween party at the Field House from 6 to 8. We will have uh, the balloon girl there again and some prizes and uh, costume contests. Oh, 
Yes, yes. yes. Call mm -hmm. your fair and council so they can come up and give us a hand and we'll have pizza. So uh, it, it really is a lot of fun. Uh, I will need some volunteers on maybe like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday to come out and help us decorate. So if you can come out and give me like an hour of your time, that would be great. And that building is blocked off. And that building is blocked off. We've got to make sure that the uh, Craig was supposed okay, to do that. Okay, but the field house. Nobody there. And so not it's out there. It's at least our third year. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yes, so it is. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice. Everybody does like it. Um, also, Billy, perfume for Halloween. Do you know, is it the same as last year? I don't think anything's changed yet. Did, did we pass it as an ordinance? Or? I thought we had to do it. We, we, we should have to do a resolution. We should do it tonight. Oh, we have to do it every year? Yeah. Okay. So if you guys want to make a recommendation. From what day to what day? We should do it, we should do it tonight. Yes, we should. It could just be to uh, repeat last year's. Well, we have to know what that is. We do? Well, we usually do it from the week Something before to, to the week of. Uh, um, uh, to the day of Halloween. So it'll be from Wednesday yeah, to Wednesday? Wednesday? Wednesday to Wednesday? Well, ha Halloween, yeah, the the Halloween party is usually, I mean, the Halloween yeah, we all have for treat. Treat. Yeah. People that want they, different well, hours. Who was it? Two, two to seven they wanted it? We do do it. We do do it. Three, three to seven? No, three, three, seven. Three, seven. Yeah. three to seven. Three to seven. It's usually an hour past the... Oh, yeah, they need a time to come home from school and everything, something like that. Correct. Uh, but there's also the people that work and don't like that it ends at seven yeah. because they don't have time to... Well, then they, that's when you come over to the field house and help us celebrate. Sure. Yeah, we do. So we're going to do both curfew and... So the kids, treat. please everyone. So you're going to keep it three to seven? Yeah, whatever was last year, we're, and it worked out. When do you want to start the curfew? It worked out well. Billy, do you have a always ended like at nine. Beginning of the week, end of the week? Well, you want to do I just thought about it today. I would have is a Friday before. before. Shut you out of the we really yeah. I, yeah, I don't think it was the whole week. I think it was like the weekend before. Was it? Yeah, how about like the Friday? Because the week the uh, weekend twenty six is the Friday before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about that? The twenty sixth to the thirty first? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And What's the time? The curfew's gonna be Billy, you're gonna help us. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock curfews? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. All, all through the weekend. Yeah, right? make sure all the officers are out there. Get the kids What's the list? They don't, they don't I think around. it was nine. Nine? Yeah. Should I make a motion? Oh Mr. Oh no, no, we have to do a resolution. We'll do yeah. it at the end. Okay, uh, uh, my question always is, uh, who's going to go arrest five-year-old Johnny if he's out after seven o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must be compliant here. Yeah. It's no, there's no issues on any of that stuff. No. I've never had I mean, no. they, they all know, like, on mischief night, you know, back in the everybody knows that, you know, we're going to, we do, we're going to Is that really stop. Problem? No. no. Not at all. Not for years. No, I've been on mid I was on midnights for four straight years for Mr. Yeah. I don't know what. They knew what Nobody was Nobody wanted toilet paper. No. Or okay. Unless somebody Sorry. played around, messed with their neighbor as a joke or something. Other than that, no. Uh, uh, watch. All right, so we'll watch do that again. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> watch your pool. Okay, and with that, I say um, progress. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Engineering, Mr. Brown. Thank you. I'm going to go with Mark's caucus report because he summed everything up okay. that's going on. And uh, I hope that's our new stuff for us tonight. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All the rest of Okay, thank you. Uh, public Works, Mr. Root, uh, like I said, was in traffic issues. Does anyone have anything for Public Works other than what we discussed uh, the other day? What about the gentleman uh, we were going to put on as a janitor? Did anybody get a chance yeah. to meet with him? No, no, no one had a chance to meet with him. Did we? We did approve it by resolution. Today. No, we did not. We did not because everyone said they wanted to meet him. Okay, so last week I was at a conference. Harry was unfortunately ill today, so when he gets in tomorrow, I have planned to ask him um, this week to set up an interview. I think the committee should at least interview because this is a new position that we've yeah. never had before a janitor someone to take care of the buildings and things like that i think there should be some conversation right it's, it's, it's being treated very, very okay so well i think it should be a, well it could just be the public works committee which i'm fine with or you know i think that's fine because it really is part of public works even though you might argue it's personnel but i think it's a unique position we're going to have them put a uh, 
uh, Chief Daly and the Sergeant Sam Paulson. And he's only a part time, and you guys are here because he's going to have access to the yeah. police station. Yep. Yeah. Because it looks great there now, but it's yeah, it's going to look even better. Okay. And this is something the police department wanted also. Oh, they wanted yeah. something. Oh, yeah. Okay. To maintain it. Okay. Yeah. So as long as the committee gets together and Remember who's who's on the public works committee? Bob, Bob and Okay. All right then. So hopefully that'll get done. And if the committee recommends the hiring, can we? Can, are you allowed to retroactive a appointment? We I think we've done it in the past. We, a part-time at will employee. We have to cancel. We the have contract. a current. We have a current contract. Yeah, we have with, uh, the existing janitorial service. I read the contract. We have given thirty days. You want to make a motion to cancel that or we could uh, i don't think i need a motion. don't need that no why would there be a contract i've been here for eight years we've never signed a contract in eight years 2007 2007 uh, yeah. so it renews automatically yeah. and they haven't changed the price since 2007 yeah no no are we making the right yeah. Yeah. yes yes so I was going to write the letter after I met. But well, we can still bring this gentleman in. Well, sure. I think you should. I want to wait to yeah, bring this gentleman in. first. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to terminate. So process. a little bit of overlap. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Makes sense. It's going to take. It's going to take approximately October. Yeah. By the time we, uh, we're at our next meeting, the caucus or the council meeting, we'll be ready. Well, the only thing I would ask the committee, the biggest thing I think that we've all experienced is uh, uh, this a new position, a good job description. And then um, will this person, like for example, a lot of things that are done with public events, you know, we use we use this building. Like you say, we're going to have a uh, a little ribbon coming on the ribbon cutting on the 29th. You know, will this person be involved in those kinds of things? And you know, will this person be uh, directed through, you know, the uh, public works superintendent, or is this person also? Well, you see what I'm getting at. Though you and I know that we can be out there some days, and we need. We talked about the women's club. You know, if that building needs to be clean prior to the rentals. Those are the kind of things that I think we need to have some kind of dialogue. I think you got to figure out yeah. how much notice we would need. Well, so those I think the person are... needs to have an understanding of what's going on in the borough all the time. You know, the Halloween. Uh, uh, but like, how does there's always somebody make, there make, uh, make a call? Make some notes. Send us an email. And then we can. Uh, so I think that's part of your committee. Give us an outline for the committee meeting. Line. Ah, I just gave it to you. Yeah. Gave it to you well, send us an email <laughs> so we have the. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I will do that. More work. Thank you. Thank you. More work. Did you get that? Okay. All right, then parts and rack. Mr. Lobinstein. Uh, uh, touching on public works also, I know uh, Mr. Wozdunk and his crew are happy that the rains have stopped for now. No. Uh, it's, great. Rain, so it's created a lot of problems in the uh, borough. Yes, we might have a little bit of rain tonight. Uh, tornado. Yes, back. Okay. <laughs> but uh, there's no tornado warning here it's oh, in western Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. But anyway. Uh, we're looking at the lake on what to do with that. Uh, down in by Mr. Del Sordo's woods down there, there is a six foot drain that empties down into uh, Hirsch Lake and it's washing all the sediment from the highway. All the water from the top of Irish Hill to the Black Horse Pike to Clemens Bridge Road, all that empties into that little drain down by Mr. Del Sordo's and dumps down into the um, Hirsch Lake. Uh, Harry has contacted the state to see what they can do to remediate the problem of all the sediment washing from there down into Hirsch Lake. In 2004, the project was done, and since then, that's when the problems have started with the lake getting smaller and shallower. And currently, it's not very deep at all, one to two feet. And it's just. And Harry showed me a video last week. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen the uh, rest of it yet, but. Uh, when during caucus last week, Mr. Wozunk was late because he got stuck in the mud in the rain. He was filming the culvert and the water washing down. Down in that little stream down there, there was a good six feet of water going down in down to that stream, washing out. It washes out the walls of the stream, which is supposed to be a trickle, but it's a torrent when all the rain uh, storm water comes down through there. So we're going to work with try to work with the state to see what they can do to get the sludge and the box to be dredge out the uh, Hirsch Lake. And what was done back in 2004? The uh, repiping of the... Uh, it was a drainage pipe. The drainage. The Black Horse Pipe. The Black Horse Pipe. Yeah. 
And I think and the bank you're talking about, you said it was six foot high, wasn't it? Yes, it is. And uh, I have a picture of it. I'll show it to you guys. But it's a it's a massive amount of water that comes down through there. It's not meant to come down through there. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. I also talked with Director Capelli. Uh, there's a, a loan program, which we're far away from yet. We're not there with that. But to get dredged, it's an interest-free 30-year loan uh, to get it dredged out. Currently, they're doing uh, Newton Lake Park uh, and uh, a creek there. I'm thinking the creek that feeds into it. It's a cost of $25 million, but the county, the county's taking care of that. Well, that's and, a new and, Ours would be yeah. either mm -hmm. our responsibility or you yeah. that the state might help us out. The state might help us out with this, but we're in the uh, you know, very infantile stages on that right now. And uh, so we're, we are looking at the lake to try to get that uh, fixed. It is a resource that we have as part of uh, the ambience of the town. And we feel as though that uh, you know, public works, and Mr. Diori and I have talked a little bit about it, but. You know, it, it's something that attracts people to the town. People like it. We can't lose the lake, and uh, that should not happen. Yeah. Quick uh, question: Is that it's only two foot approximately? Is that because the sediment is building up? Yes. Yes. Sediment is building up and up and up. Okay. The amount of water that Harry showed me the video, and he was supposed to email it to me. He got busy over the weekend and stuff, but the uh, and he was ill today, not in. But um, the amount of water coming down through that creek was just massive. If anyone goes into that creek during that storm water, well, they'll drown. It, it's it's a lot of water and it's very very fast. You know, think about it, all the water that comes down from Irish Hill, the Black Horse Pike, and Clements Bridge Road, and it goes past that part of Clements Bridge Road, goes back up the hill. All that water, almost to Mr. Roots uh, Rowan Avenue, uh, all, all that water comes back down. You know, and it all settles right there across from Bob Del Sordo's house. And goes right down in there. It's just yeah. just a mass, massive amount of water. Uh, Harry did have two guys come in on. He couldn't mow on Friday. He had two guys come in on Sunday morning to uh, mow the fields. The soccer field could not could not get done uh, on Friday because it was just too wet. They got the RY and the RGSL done, but they couldn't do the uh, soccer field. But two guys came back in, and uh, you know. well, that's good. Yep. Yeah. Great. And uh, Public Works was out to my neighbor's house today. They were putting flushable wipes down their toilet system, and uh, they were Public Works came out, took care of it right away, and uh, they respond very well. All right. Progress. Progress. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Flushable wipes. Thanks, Brad. Administrator's report. Mr. Dewey. Thank you, Mayor, Council. I guess I'll start off with finance. We are. Uh, we're going to record everything you said. Don't, I don't like it. I'll start with finance. Um, continuing to do some budget analysis, comparing our budget versus actuals this year. As um, Mr. Ranieri said, that um, I put out a directive of a spending freeze for 2018 to control the spending throughout the rest of the year. I'm not saying there's no spending, but we're going to be conscientious. So no well, new spending. It was no new spending. We're going to abide by what's in the budget right now. Um, also, at the same time, I'm, I'm preparing to to uh, do the 2019 budget at the same time, kind of like looking to see what's going through now, so I can get an idea of what's going on in 2019. Um, and speaking of that, I just got back from the GFOA conference that was last week, and there was a couple interesting items that was talked about. One is, uh, it's called the FAST system. Uh, FAST system is a database by, developed by the state, Division of Local Government Services. Um, previously, we did our reporting on manual paper, Excel spreadsheets, different things like that, submitted it to the state via mail or email. Uh, they developed this database where all of our reporting is going to be through the FAST system. Um, I'm not exactly sure what FAST stands for, but it does stand for something. Uh, we'll be doing our budgets, we'll be doing our AFS, our annual financial statements, our debt statements, supplemental debt statements. As a matter of fact, we did prepare the AFS and ABS and SDS last year through this system. It was kind of a little hard. Like anything that's new, there's uh, things to be worked out, but the budget, 
Uh, last year they rolled it out, but they rescinded it because there had to be a little more work. But this year, our budget is going to be prepared. Again. And the good thing about it is that the numbers that we put in will continue to roll over. So there'll be less, less maintenance. It, it'll be more work from the beginning. And the state will use those numbers to um, give data to uh, key stakeholders in the state to make decisions. I would think everything from the governor's office down to uh, local government. So it's pretty exciting. Um, so no more driving to Trenton in the budget then? There's no, no, no more no more driving. I've never done that, but <laughs> 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 thank God. Wrong CFO. Wrong CFO. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a hit. <laughs> I've kind of uh, always made that that line. I don't know. Um, also, we, there was discussion at, at the conference about debt service. Uh, Mr. Ranieri brought something up uh, in reference to our debt service we're working on. There was some interesting conversation, and sometimes you don't learn anything new at a, at a session, but what you learn confirms what you already know. And um, it, it gives me satisfaction that our financial advisors and our bond council are giving me information that's correct and we're understanding it, and we're doing a great job managing our debt. Do we intend to do that bond before the end of the year? In November. In November, okay. If we decide to do it. If, yeah, it looks like we are. Okay. So they're running the numbers? And yep. Great. Um, one last thing that was interesting, Edmonds, our financial software package. Um, Bob Edmonds is always there, and always complaining about his customer service, but that's another story. Um, they're developing a lot of good things with our admin system. Uh, graphs and visuals, and different modules, being able to do purchase requisitions on my phone. When somebody puts a requisition in, I can prove it. So that's exciting. I like the technology and uh, it makes us more efficient. Speaking of Bob, did he get you what you needed? Did we get that? Yeah. The change? Are we ready? Oh, to go? yeah. We got that a little while ago. Okay, great. Uh, what we're talking about is. Uh, Something to help us out with payroll. It's called ESS, Employee self serve It'll give the employee the uh, ability to look at their pay stub and their W-2 online. Because one of the goals like uh, that online or on the phone or anything like that. You know, I remember when we all get those envelopes. You know, since I've been here, I've wanted to get rid of those envelopes. So now Edmonds has a, this update that we finally got from them. And now the goal is no more no more envelopes. You know, uh, everyone a bit electronic. Our right. jobs are going to be able to look up pre their past stuff like any any other business that's been doing it for about 15 years. So we'll save money on envelopes, yeah. save money on paper. We're going green. Yeah, it's a It's a good. It's a good idea. It's a good thing. Um, we also got the HR module also. So very soon, very soon we will be rolling this time and attendance and all this new technology out so that our payroll system. Human resources, pension benefits, will all be all be united in our in our, in our database, Edmonds database. Nice. So we're looking forward to that. Um, you know, and some of the other things going on around in the building. You know, we're signing the contract to have the building painted. We talked about that a little bit. So hopefully that'll. I think Public Works was around the building today, cutting trees, trimming things, getting getting rid of. Uh, Okay. Which train? Right out when we walk out of our police station. Yep. It's really loose place. They cut that tree down. You're gonna replant it. You cut that tree. There's one. There's one. There's still one. Yeah, but left. we have to replant them. Yes. To replant every time you cut one down. Yeah. We owe some trees, don't we? The engineering department owes some trees. We 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 we're on that. I think we got some sort of trees. We're deciding what type of trees, right? I think there was some information that we talked about to work in different areas. Um, continued discussions we're having for our CBA agreements, collective bargaining agreements. Uh, we have uh, three that are, that are all this year, right? That's right. Public works, clerical, staff, and police. So we're making good progress with the police negotiations. And uh, thanks to Bill, he's a big help for that support yeah, a good team yeah, and good team. Um, you know we I just started reaching out to the um, 
the union representative, GWU, for clerical and public works. And yeah, just anybody doesn't have some meetings. Public works changed the union representation. Right. They Correct. went from the aeros aerospace. They left the rocket scientists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they voted? They voted. Oh, okay. And the GWU, yeah. that's right? Yes. I think it happened Monday. Monday. Aerospace. International Something. Aerospace and... <laughs> now, what do you call it? What was it called? I don't know. Joyce used to call it the rockets. That's it, the rockets. That's a little derogatory, too. No, so, it's not derogatory. It actually said aerospace. It does. It does say it does. on it the... Does. Not, I was not being derogatory. Yes. But it is aerospace. Definitely. Right? On purpose. So, yeah. we have a couple meetings with Public Works and the... Um, this is a public meeting, of course. The mm -hmm. clerical, yeah. white, white column. And that's why you said that. So yeah, that's right. Correct the record. Sorry. We're upgrading our IT ma managed IT service in the police department, fire department, and office of emergency management. Charlie's over there. Um, so we we had termi terminated the contract with Premier Technology Solutions. They did a good job for us for a year. They um, got some things under under control for us. So now our existing IT local IT security. Now that they have their head around. Um, the administrative and public works portion of our mathematics IT, they're expanding into our police department. Everybody's really happy Good. with them. So everybody be on the same page. Yeah. Everyone will be on now, the same I page. remember last year though, I thought the police department wanted to go with Premier last year. It didn't work out against The new guys are doing fantastic. Yeah, he's, yeah, just, he's a politician. No, it was just, it was kind of good stuff. has to be addressed. They, they did a good job though? Oh, uh, fantastic. The one guy's real sharp, man. He came in, boom, 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 boom. Everybody's happy. We got everything we need in the police department. Computer-wise, you know, it's very fantastic. And the security cameras is all the same company. I'm hoping that by caucus, definitely the next meeting, we're going to have a lot of these things uh, accomplished and, and agreement signed and different things like that. We talked about it in that caucus, and I think everybody is on board with all that. I think right? we agreed to all that stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Did that. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, just want to adjust the overtime for the police. Yeah. It's productive over time. Um, this month we it's a had. High. It is, but it's productive. It, it was necessary. There was, uh, the, we, they, there was a department meeting that was held because of the changes Jeez. and everything like that. It's very important to be proactive and to, you know, delegate duties and who's responsible <coughs> for it and set, and set expectations. Is this also the DMV stuff you guys did? Is that in here too? That's probably in there, yes. It was very productive. Okay. And, uh, I would say it's uh, none of this did call out over time. And the DMV, no. we get reimbursed from the DMV for the stops or no? Is that just something we work for? The for the checkpoints? Yeah. Not, not this campaign. Not meeting, this but, campaign? But a lot of them we do. I think we we just received two grant fundings today in the, in, in the bank. Well, there's goals. So we'll click it. Out there. There's goals. We'll click it or ticket and then distract. The okay. Right, came in. You got that funding? Then. That came in. Yes. Maybe the 5K. That's probably checkpoints. Oh, that might be game on. So, I took one guy down from there. That was on Saturday. Okay. So, the point is that any overtime, like anything that we're doing, the funds that we spend in this borough are productive and being reinvested into the, into the town in a productive way. So, you know, everybody hears overtime and it's, you know, yes. oh my gosh. But in this case, it's not due to anything other than productive activity. Well, thank you for clarifying yeah, that because I, I was going to call the, yeah, <laughs> the that's chief. That's <laughs> right. Don't call the chief. No, no that, that's it. No other questions I'll be We've gotten him on set. If I can, I'll ask. Him. <laughs> so, um, if there's no questions, that's all I have for us is progress. Thank you. Well, that's great, thank right? You. Absolutely. Thank okay, you. thank you. Slushery report. A little bit of a busy week. Okay. Um, we approved the bond uh, performance bond release that you will see in the resolution. Um, and there are also, as discussed at the caucus, uh, two ordinances. One uh, is amendments to the zoning ordinance with respect to garages and signage as requested by the mayor. And another involving the um, fees for marriages that you perform. Um, so those are both complete and uh, ready for council's consideration this evening. And the rest is progress. Okay, thank you. Nice. Engineers report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to rely mostly on my report from the caucus, but I do have four additional things to talk about. The pre construction meeting for the road program is scheduled for this Friday. 
Uh, the notice to proceed will be issued for Tuesday because Monday is a state holiday, although it's not a Fox holiday, unfortunately. Um, we are in the process of selecting quotes for the Clemens Bridge Road curb. The quotes will be due October 25th, and we're hoping to award that at the October 30th caucus meeting. And speaking of the caucus meeting, that's when we're going to have the public meeting to talk about the CDBG transfer of the leftover money from the parking lot. For the elevator project, I'll work with Joyce on the public notice so she can get it in the paper in time for the meeting. And the last thing we're working on is the easements for the property behind the ACME. And um, we'll be coordinating with the conflict solicitor, I guess, on that issue. Okay, great. So, and are those the plans, firm, are those firm, those plans that Nothing. you showed us? Were they firm plans? Well, plans Nothing firm. We, were, we talked about it. Um, not confirmed yet. Nothing confirmed yet. When, when will it be firmed up? As soon as somebody on the council or the mayor approves, I'm not sure what. Well, I think we got to get the drawings back yeah, from the engineer, and then we'll review it, and then we're going to send it over to the school district for them to review it. Okay. And I don't know if they hired their conflict attorney. So yet. this might not happen anytime soon. Well, we're going to try. I mean, the goal, our goal, was to get this drawing back as quickly as possible. I, I have two versions of it because of. What was that? I have two versions of the plan right now. Yeah, I know. They're, they're flipping around like. So we will tie that down. And yeah. And the CDBG, we have to have a public hearing. Is yes. that what you're saying yes. for advertising? Yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't know there was two versions of the chain. I'll show it to the, the committee. After it's fine. Show the engineering committee. It's just based on what was presented at, at the end of the last caucus with the 15 foot buffer and trying to. Tie into a fence. There was a 54 foot dimension that doesn't match up with what the plan should be. So I have two different views, two different versions of it, depending on what we want to do. And I'll go over it with the engineering committee. And then once the engineering committee decides what they want to do, I can present to the yeah. full council. And then we can submit it to the And if everybody agrees to that version, we can submit it to the conflict solicitor and he can get back to the school. So the school okay. So they have the school walk the whole property. Uh, this has been going on for a while. Uh, yeah, so they, right. oh, wow. but there's never been a formal now. This would now formal drawing showing the setback, showing all that stuff. So we so never had that. And I can have a committee meeting after this meeting is adjourned if you would like to, Bob, and I can go over that. Sure. Oh, you have to leave. Oh. Okay. Well, you can talk about it. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, good. Anything else? Progress? Okay, thank you very much. Old business, we have none. Uh, public comment on agenda items. Um, this portion of the meeting is open to the public. Any wish to speak on the upcoming agenda items that we're going to be voting on? Please uh, come to the micro, state your name and address. <laughs> Saying that thing, no one, is there a motion to close the public? I so move. I'll second. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Mr. Robinson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm down okay, first thing we have is a proclamation with the breaks. One Vitality Day, October 10th, 2018. Uh, whereas across the nation, traffic crashes caused more than 37,461 fatalities in 2016 and are the leading cause of death to young people ages 15 to 34. And whereas in New Jersey, 604 individuals lost their lives in traffic crashes in 2016. Whereas pedestrian related crashes accounted to 27.3% of the state's traffic fatalities. Whereas the uh, motorcyclists, bicycle riders, and pedestrians face increased risks on New Jersey roadways as people opt for alternative modes of transportation. And whereas 66 motorcyclists, 18 bicyclists, and 165 pedestrians were killed in New Jersey in traffic related crashes in 2016. And whereas safe, safer driving behaviors such as buckling up every ride, obeying posted speed limits, avoiding aggressive driving behaviors and aggressive drivers, never drinking and driving, wearing proper safety gear when riding a motorcycle or bicycle, and focusing solely on driving by avoiding distractions can dramatically reduce the number of traffic-related injuries and deaths. Now, therefore, I, Nick Capados, Mayor of the Barrow Run, do hereby proclaim October 10th, 2018, put the brakes on Fatalities Day, and call upon everyone to put these life-saving behaviors into practice to improve safety on the roadways in our community and throughout the state. Um, one thing I'd like to say about that is if the police department on that particular day would be more vigilant, and if we put it up on the sign, Joyce, mm -hmm. 
about this. Uh, I don't. Even, I mean, if anyone knows, we did have a pedestrian struck and killed on Slack Horse Pike mm -hmm. just this week. This, this past week. Um, and you, you know, you know, that's something that this borough we've been lucky that we haven't had a lot, but we have had some mm -hmm. with these so. major roads. So I think it's important for us to continue to put uh, put sidewalks in where we can, crosswalks where we can. Uh, use the police department to slow down people and stop this distracted driving. I think we have to do that distracted driving every year. So I think that's your issue. Let me just add one fact. Uh, the fatality across the nation is 15.5%, but in our state it's over 27% in pedestrian fatalities. That's why we're doing this, because we should not be that high over the rest of the country. It's, it's, of right. course, we are a very populous state, yes. but that's true, too, you know, but we are over the average. Yes. Way over. So curbing and sidewalks make a big difference, especially on Columbus Bridge Road, so we're going to get that done. Okay. Thank you. So now we have uh, some stuff for council. To consider resolution 18-112 is a resolution releasing a performance bond to Benipal City LLC. This is the sports uh, depot. The solicitor said everything is in order. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Anary, second by Mr. Lobenstein. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Cowley? Yes. Mr. Lobenstein? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mr. Rivera? Yes. Okay. And the resolution is adopted. Resolution 18 1, uh, 1813, a resolution authorizing the transfer of a premium from the tax collector's redemption account to the general fund. This is the $7,100 that reverts back to the barrow on a, uh, on a lien. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second, second that motion. Motion by Mr. Farrell, second by Ms. Kelly. Any other discussion? This is that wonderful word, a sheet. Is that the word? A sheet. Uh, roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. All right, the resolution is adopted. Resolution 18-114. Is a resolution authorizing a shared service agreement with the with Gloucester City for the purchase of Bryant Solution? I make a motion. Motion by Ms. Passio, second by Mr. Lobenstein. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Lobenstein? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mr. Ramirez? Yes. I advise my And that resolution is adopted. Uh, I'm going to jump right on the resolution 18-115. Is the uh, curfew ordinance and the trick or treating? Can we do it together? A resolution, excuse me, the resolution for curfew and trick or treating. Uh, the resolution for cur curfew will be from October 26th to October 31st. Uh, that no children under was it 15 will be out past 9 p.m. And that the trick or treating will happen on October 31st between 3 and 7 p.m. I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Do we need a roll call for that then? Uh, yes. Let's do it. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Lobenstein? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Fowler? Yes. And Mr. Ranieri? Yes. All right, the resolution is adopted. Uh, we have first reading tonight for Ordinance 1810, an ordinance to amend the code. Uh, this is the ordinance that uh, we discussed about the this is the height? The housing code. Oh, the housing code first. I apologize. This is the housing code. This allows uh, the county to enforce the New Jersey housing. Can the county health officer to enforce uh, the state statute? Is there uh, someone who would like to make a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Uh, please read the statement. So we haven't done an ordinance in a while. I make a motion to adopt the first ring and advertise according to law with a public hearing to be held on the 7th day of November 2018 at 7 p.m. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. Okay, motion by Ms. Pat Ms. Passio, second by Ms. Kelly. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. My advice, my Okay, that'll be next month. Uh, now we have ordinance 1811 as an ordinance to amend the code. This is the uh, in the R1 and the R2 district. This is increasing the uh, heights for the uh, detached garages from 12 feet to 18 feet. I 
make a motion to adopt on first reading and advertise according to law with the public hearing to be held on the 7th day of November 2018 at 7 p.m. I'll second. Hearing. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes, Mr. Robinson. Yes. Mrs. Fassier. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mr. Reader. Yes. All right, we'll have that next one. Um, we might be changing the way we do these motions to make it a little bit simpler. Yeah, you don't have to do all that. You know, we can just say a motion? Say motion to adopt on first reading. You have to That's advertise and then hold the public hearing according to the law. As long as you follow the law, you don't have to say what you're doing. You just have to do it. Just motion to adopt on first, first reading. reading. That's yeah. it. Sounds good. Okay, we're going to simplify. See that? We're being efficient. Just save paper. Uh, save some time. Ordinance 18 12 and ordinance and then the code. This is the one. Well, so this is the marriage fees. This goes from the seventy-five dollar fee to the one fifty fee, and then the outside is down one fifty to two fifty. Is there a motion? I make a motion to adopt on first reading. Oh, thank you, Mr. I'll second. Oh, I don't. No, 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 so we have all the public hearings at the next uh, okay. That's okay. That's a Wednesday. Yes, because the election is on the, the sixth. Okay. Uh, pay no bills. Is there a motion to pay the monthly bills? Make a motion. Oh, second. Motion by Mr. Frow, second by Mr. Lobenstein. Uh, roll call, please. Um, Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Um, Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mr. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yeah. And Mr. Ranieri? Yes. The bill should be paid. Okay, so next month, uh, there was another short list of ordinances, so I think we're going to try to get a few more done before the end of the year. We don't like to carry things that we're not allowed to carry. We're not allowed by law to carry ordinance uh, changes from one year to another, so November will be our last chance to change a few more ordinances before uh, the new year. Okay, so this portion of the meeting is open to the public. Any wishing to speak, please come to the microphone. State your name and address. Okay. Al Palisano, E31 North Oakland Avenue. Patty, you did a great job. It was beautiful weather for the yard oh, and the I weather. Know, I know. So we were very fortunate good, and good. everybody had a good time. Good. I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing no one else, is there a motion to close the public, public oh, portion? Oh, motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Mr. Lobenstein. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public portion is closed. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion, motion by Mr. Lobenstein, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned.